This is Chichester, where Education Secretary Gillian Keegan is MP. Recently, she was on Carol Vorderman's LBC show being asked this question. In 2023, a report found that 700,000 children are having to learn in crumbling schools. Aren't you ashamed of that? Well, if I hadn't had taken action, perhaps I would. But I took action immediately as soon as I was aware of RAC. But hang on. How on earth, even under this Prime Minister, weak as he is, even under this government, how on earth... Did she think she could get away with going on holiday rather than taking any form of action at all? Then there was the £32 million refurbishment of her office. I read in my son's newspaper this morning that you spent £32 million refurbishing your offices, did you? Oh, I don't know, actually, I didn't. (laughs) That Gillian denied knowing anything about, but... In April this year, the Education Secretary signed a contract for refurbishment of her offices. There was all that swearing and arrogance too. Does anyone ever say, you know what, you've done a good job because everyone else has sat on their and done nothing? No, no, no signs of that, no? And passing of blame. So do you think you're doing an effing good job? I, I wasn't talking about me, actually. I was talking about the department. The job that I was talking about started in March 2022, so way before I was in. Also, her husband was a president of a company that received money from the school's rebuilding programme. Then there was that £370 million miscalculation of the school's budget that cocked up a lot of schools budgeting as they would be getting less, which makes a mockery out of Sunak saying this. I am now making numeracy a central objective of our education system. So, can you vote Julian out? Well, it doesn't look likely. So this nasty piece of work will stay on thanks to those Tory voters in Chichester. Click here for a video about Brexit four years on with Jacob Rees-Mogg getting owned by a farmer. (laughs) 